The chair recognizes Mr. VC for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's often been said that lies travel faster than truth. And we've seen that play out with devastating consequences on social media platforms today. Uh, this concerns me greatly, not just as a father or a lawmaker, but as someone uh, ready to see the past divisions that have dominated our country for the past several years uh, and, and, and really decades, really. Uh, but it's hard to see how this can change uh, when the CEOs of the largest social media platforms repeatedly say they will fix their ways only to keep spreading harmful lies and misinformation. I want to give you an example. Uh, last August here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, the North Texas Poison Control Center felt the need to warn people against ingesting bleach or other disinfecting products as a cure uh, to prevent COVID-19. Uh, despite uh, efforts of your companies to take down such harmful uh, mis- or disinformation calls uh, to the North Texas Poison Control Center about disinfectant, uh, uh, ingestion rates were much higher than usual, and statewide calls about bleach products were up over 70% compared to the year before. Uh, the North Texas Poison uh, Center pointed out largely to pointed this out largely to misinformation. Uh, online as the cause for these increases. Uh, and as we know, in the lead up to last elections, black communities were specifically targeted for disinformation campaigns designed to suppress the vote, uh, especially in battleground states. And right now there are sites up that are discouraging black people from getting the COVID-19 vaccination. I know a lady that was put in Facebook jail for 30 days because all she did was repost one of the faulty posts uh, one, saying, Black folks, black folks aren't falling for this BS, and she was put in Facebook jail for 30 days. Uh, now, now, uh, even if these posts were eventually taken down or otherwise labeled as false, uh, uh, again, uh, lies travel uh, a lot faster uh, than than truths. Uh, your companies have been largely flat-footed when it comes to getting out uh, ahead of these issues, uh, and it's time for something to change. Uh, that's why I'm exploring legislation that would establish an independent organization of researchers and computer scientists who could help identify and warn about misinformation trends before they become viral. Uh, this early warning system would help social media sites, the public, and law enforcement so that when dangerous conspiracies or disinformation is spreading, they can be on alert and hopefully stop and hopefully slow its effect. Mr. Zuckerberg, would you support legislation that would alert all Facebook or Instagram users of harmful disinformation and conspiracy theories spreading across your platforms? Uh, Congressman, I think we need to look into that in, in, in more detail to understand the nuances. But I, in general, I, I agree that it's our responsibility to build systems that can help slow the spread of this kind of misinformation. And that's why we've taken all the steps that I've outlined today from building in unprecedented independent fact-checking program to taking down content that could cause imminent physical harm to the uh, work in the COVID information center and the voting information center and the climate information center to promote authoritative information across our services. So I, I, uh, I certainly think that there's a lot to do here. Mr. Dorsey, would you support legislation for an early warning system across Twitter? I'd be open to reviewing the details. I just don't think it'll be effective. Um, and uh, it'll it'll be very much whack-a-mole. I, I, I think the the more important thing is to, as I said in my opening remarks, like get much more of an open standard and protocol um, that everyone can have access to and review. Uh, and Mr. Pachai, uh, for Google and YouTube, as and 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 I have a 14 year old at home that watches YouTube. What about uh, you for uh, for those platforms? We already today in many of these areas, we show proactively information panels. So, for example, on COVID, we showed a lot of information from CDC and other experts, and we had uh, views of over 400 billion. And so, uh, you know, conceptually showing proactive information, uh, including information panels, uh, I think I think makes sense to me. Okay. Well, uh, thank you. I appreciate uh, uh, the time, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm just I'm worried. I, I think that. That, uh, that we need to act quickly and that uh, we're running out of time and that we need these companies to take a, a affirmative action on addressing some of these issues. I yield back my time. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Gentleman yields back. Uh, the chair now yields five minutes.